In this video, we're going to look at the difference between the equilibrium constant K and the reaction quotient Q. So Q actually has the same form as K, except the product and reactant concentrations are not necessarily at equilibrium. Remember with the equilibrium constant, the product and reactant concentrations had to be precisely at their equilibrium values. But with Q, that's not a requirement. So let's look at an example here so that this becomes more clear. So I have an example reaction here. 2SO2 gas reacts with O2 gas and they're in equilibrium with 2SO3 gas. So I went ahead and wrote Kc and Q in for this reaction. Notice they're both in the same form with the products over the reactants to their respective stoichiometric coefficients as their exponents. But notice that Kc has a subscript Eq next to each term. That means that these concentrations are necessarily at equilibrium. Notice that subscript does not appear in the Q. That's because these concentrations are not necessarily equilibrium concentrations. So let's say we know the Kc for this reaction at a given temperature is going to be 12,700. I want to look at three scenarios that we could have for this reaction. In each scenario, I gave the initial concentrations of SO2, O2, and SO3, and then I calculated Q. So in this first example, with these initial reaction concentrations, the Q was 13.61. That's a lot less than our K, right? So in this case, Q is less than Kc. So if you think about this on a number line, Q is gonna be over here. It's gonna be less than Kc. And what that means is that the reaction is actually gonna shift forward to reach K. A reaction always wants to reach its equilibrium, or K. So in this case, more reactants are going to turn into products so that Q can reach up to K, okay? So in scenario two here, I have some different initial concentrations of our species here, and you can see that when I calculate Q, it comes out to be exactly 12,700. In this case, Q is exactly Kc, and in this case, this reaction is at equilibrium. In this third scenario, we have some initial concentrations and we calculated Q and we found it to be 69,444.4. That's a lot bigger than 12,700, right? So in this case, Q is greater than KC. So on a number line, we're all the way over here now. And in this case, Q wants to get back to KC. So we're gonna take products and turn them back into reactants so that we can shift back to get to K. So this reaction has gone past its equilibrium, this reaction is at equilibrium, and this reaction needs to go forward to reach its equilibrium. So I hope this made sense. If it helped you out, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. See you in the next video, guys.